This is our cleaning robot. We streamed it live on Twitch and let chat decide what to paint. And this is what they painted. And this is someone painting a big donger in my room. We're gonna get to how the robot works, but first, how we got here. This whole idea sparked from seeing this. It is an attempt at pure creativity. What we're investigating is, can data be creative? Keep notes. This project may turn out to be of interest to scholars in the future. Really? Well, of course, think about it. A blind man teaching an android how to paint. That's got to be worth a couple of pages in somebody's book. Four years ago, I saw that and thought, a painting robot? That could save me some time. It could paint. It could work. How hard can it be? So we started building. We didn't have any coding or robotics experience and thought we'd just do it DIY. We used materials like wood, screwdrives, DC motors, and after about a year, we had this machine that didn't work. So we scrapped it, did more research, looked at what people were doing online, invested in proper parts like steppers and rails, used open source code, and after another year and a half, we had a machine that kind of worked. So we started searching for what to make it paint. This proved much more challenging than we thought. Image-based painting was above our coding level, and randomized paintings looked really boring. We were stuck and worried we'd wasted a lot of time. So we stepped back and thought about other ideas. We thought about bringing it to events and maybe setting it up with a controller, but that was going to be a real challenge and would be really embarrassing if it didn't work. So we thought, streaming, it's a similar idea we can do right now. We'll let the audience decide what to paint, and it's super low risk. So we did a quick search, how to, Twitch plays Pokemon, and we had our robot on Twitch. And what started as us giving up on something turned into something really cool. People came to our stream and painted whatever they wanted. They joyfully collaborated and occasionally got mad at each other. It was really relaxing to watch. I knew people were gonna stop by and eventually these paintings were going to come together. So here's how anyone can paint with our robot. You can go to our Twitch channel, and if we're streaming, you can just click on the painting to move the brush. You can click these buttons to move the brush in and out, and these buttons to get more paint. There's no login needed, but if you want credit for your work and to be added to the listed artists, you'll want to log in and write artist in the chat. You can also use the chat to write commands like up or down to move the brush. You can combine commands up to three times, like up, up, left, or UUL to move the bot up and to the left. So here's how we connect to Twitch. We use an API similar to the Twitch Plays Pokemon video. There, we receive every chat message along with the user who sent it. We check that against a list of commands. If it matches, we know to send a certain command to the machine. We also use the heat extension, which gives us the click position of every click on stream. We check that against the button position, and if it's within the bounds, we know to send certain commands to the machine. For movement commands, we map the click position with the position in the real world. We use these X's on the stream and line it up with the blue tape on the wall. From there, we use this mapping function to send the correct coordinates to the machine. So we get data from Twitch, interpret it with the Python script, which sends G-code to the Arduino, which sends electrical signals to move the motors. The machine is a typical XY CNC. For the brush movements, we use 3D printed parts and servo motors to move the brush in and out and rotate, as well as hold the brush. So after building all that, we still have a small audience. But that's what felt really different about this project. When we have one or two people using the robot, that still feels like a good number. They're doing something meaningful and contributing to an interesting project. When it comes to the internet, I always thought popularity is best. And a couple dozen people online is a really small number. But a couple dozen people making a painting is a really big number. And that was really exciting. We're still not sure what to do with all these paintings, but we think it'd be really cool to have them up in a gallery somewhere and have all the usernames listed out. 
All the people that worked on the paintings really excite us and inspire us. We're super excited to explore other works we can make collectively with streaming, as well as other ways to run our painting robot. Big thanks to everyone who's painted with us in the past, and to those that might paint with us in the future. See you next time. Bye! Bye.